Hey y'all, how's it going? I'm BO1 Trash and welcome to my channel. Today, I'd like to talk about the basics of using Mechabricks with Blender. Specifically, how to download Blender and then how to export a model from Mechabricks and import it into Blender. Now to start off, let's go to the shop page and look at our options. Mechabricks has two officially supported plugins for Blender. One is Blender Advanced, which costs $25. The other one is Blender Lite, which is free. Let's take a look at the difference. There's this chart here that walks through the differences between the two of those. Starting at the top, uh, Blender template file, if you look down in the change log below, uh, it says here that the template file has been removed from the package, so that no longer applies. Next up, we have compatibility with the two different render engines. Light is only advertised to be compatible with Cycles, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because Cycles is what's going to give you those realistic renders. The downside is that EV runs the material preview viewport option, which for Mechabricks models will give you a real-time look at your prints and stickers on your pieces. If you color your parts with open materials, then you're going to need advanced to be able to see those in Blender. For logo on studs, no matter if you're using light or advanced, you have the option to import the Lego logo on top of all the studs where they would normally be. And down here, these options add an extra level of realism to your renders. So if you're looking to take things to the next level, then maybe spending the $25 for advanced is going to be the way to go. For now, I'm going to stick with the free under light add-on. All right, so how do we get this? It's zero dollars. We'll go ahead and add this to our cart. Go up to our cart and check out. Now, whether you spent the $25 for Blender Advanced or got the free option in Blender Lite, both of these are considered purchases. So we're going to have to go to our username and then click on purchases and we'll be able to download from there. Let's give it a click and save it onto your computer. Okay, the next thing you're going to need is Blender itself. Go to blender.org. Do not go to blender.com or you'll get some spam about Vitamix blenders. Okay, on blender.org, we'll go to the download page and we'll click download Blender 3.3.1 and save that to the computer. Now that we've downloaded Blender, let's go ahead and install it. Now that Blender is installed, we have a couple of setup options. I would recommend leaving the defaults here and hit next and then open up a new file. To get started, let's open our preferences by going to Edit and Preferences. Let's start off with some add-ons. We downloaded Blender Advanced or Blender Lite, so let's get that loaded in. Go to wherever you downloaded it, click on it, and install the add-on. In previous versions of the add-ons, you needed to open up the zip file and find the file you need to install inside, but in summer of 2022, Scrubs made a change to the download file so that you install the file you download directly. So don't unzip anything, install the file directly as it was downloaded from the web page. Now that we've installed it, we need to enable it. This should already be populated up here. If it's not, type in Mechabricks, it should bring it up. And then we want to enable it by checking this tick box here. Next, let's enable Node Wrangler. Type in Node up in the search box, and then you can come down, find Node Wrangler, and enable it. Basically, it makes your life easier when using nodes, specifically when you want to preview what a specific node is doing. Okay, now that we've done that, our basic setup is complete. In order to import a Mechabricks model, just go to File, Import, Mechabricks. I like to make things easy for myself and use a keyboard shortcut, so I'll right click, hit Assign Shortcut, and then I hit Control shift i Now anytime I hit Control shift i I'm ready to import a Mechabricks model. Okay, the last thing I want to do is actually export a model from Mechabricks and put it into Blender. So File, Export, and then in the format, let's change this to the Blender add-on and hit Export. We'll save that, go back to Blender, grab everything, X to delete and click to confirm, and then we'll go to File, Import, Mechabricks, or we can use that keyboard shortcut that we set up. Go to our downloads, find our model, and there he is right there. And now we can save our model. And this should give you the foundation for getting a model from Mechabricks into Blender. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and have a good night. Cheers.